Hey guys, it's Kelly from Mondays and start of a new week. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I say it's all right. Just an update with me, nothing has really changed in my schedule. I've been doing practically the same thing weekly, keeping a, um, a schedule and slowly increasing like my exercise and everything. Um, one of the more substantial things that has happened in the past two weeks since I didn't make a video last week um, was I had a little, I keep on having these little setbacks. Um, and I think it's because I work too hard and don't rest enough and then I get overtired and fatigued in my muscles and then my body just like shuts down but um, I've been trying to work in resting every single day and make sure I get it because with those setbacks I'm pretty sure they're related to not resting enough so like being on Mitodrine, being able to do more and have that aid um, my body, I have been able to do more and I haven't been thinking as much as resting until I get overtired and I feel sick and then I'm like, okay, I didn't rest. So, yeah, I have a couple questions actually from older videos, not this week. I haven't watched this week's videos, but I was catching up on older videos. So I have three video questions. So I'll just do those and then I'll do my week. So the first video is Olivia's and your videos are always so inspiring. It's just, I don't know what about it, but it just, I love watching your videos and they just seem so inspiring and makes me want to do better and get better and everything and I'm glad that you're in a place where you're able to live your life and start to be a little normal I mean it's not normal but you know act normal and do the things that normal people do at our age and I hope you find something that you really love to do and you enjoy and take pride in as um, a career that you'll be proud of so and I didn't think you had a question, so I'm going to move on to Lauren's video, which her question was, how do you deal with depression? Um, I mean, I'm not, I had been feeling, that feeling like you're depressed when I first got sick, and that's all normal. Like, feeling that way when you get POTS is all normal because your life is totally changed. You get sick. You're not able to do things you did before. Um, but I, I've never gotten to a place where I've had to um, really act on it. I've always um, just kept moving forward and not letting it get me down. Get to a place where I can be happy. But um, so I really don't know, like, dealing with depression, just, like, not looking too far into the future and staying in the present and doing what you can every day and um, just finding the happiness in the little things and the little things that happen during the day that make you happy and enjoy them. Um, but right now I feel like I'm in a place where I'm not depressed. Um, we're back in when I first got sick and during that time where you're dealing with the fact that you have this illness and accepting that you do, I, I feel like I was. And so with that question, just, you know, not looking too far ahead and, and finding happiness in the little things that make you happy. Um, and... Leanne's question 
What is your favorite kind of exercise? Well, right now I've been doing crunches and ab stuff and rowing, recumbent bike, and I've been doing some burpees, which I do not recommend if you're sick, sick. Like, for me, they're hard, and I'm, it's basically, I have to do them, like, right after I take my medication when it's strongest, because it's, it's very tricky to do with pause, because it's basically going from a standing position, jumping up, and then going, squatting down, and then going to a push-up position, and then you can do a push-up, but I haven't done push-ups yet, and then going back to a crouch position, and then going back to a, um, upright position, and then jumping. And it's a lot of change in your body, you know, and gravity and circulation-wise, getting blood to your brain is kind of difficult in that one, and it makes you very out of breath and tachycardic and dizzy, so, um, but I, I haven't been doing those lately, but I have also been starting to do push-ups, so I have I'm at 10, 15 push-ups, which I am proud of because I was not able to do push-ups whatsoever when I first started working out, like, in this, at the end of August. So, yeah, I've gotten to a place where I can do push-ups now, which is exciting, and I, I love doing push-ups. I really like doing push-ups because they make me feel strong, and, like, they work all your muscles in here, but they aren't fun to do, but I like them. <laughs> um... But my favorite exercise would probably be the rowing machine. I like it. Um, it's made me strong in my back and my shoulders, and I enjoy doing it. And it's kind of rhythmical. But anyway. And you mentioned The Fault in Our Stars. I love that book. Uh, it's my all-time favorite book. And aside from the Hunger Games series, um, I love that book and yeah, it's really good. I feel like you could relate to it even though, you know, you don't have cancer or um, if you don't have like this life-threatening illness. Um, I feel like you can relate to certain details with POTS. So I, I would recommend it as a good read for people who want um, to find a good book to read. It's definitely one of the best books out there. So, yeah, that is it for the questions. So on the 28th, I did shooting practice that day, and that was like an hour and a half, two hours, and I rested most of the day. I've been doing school every single day for about three hours, three to four hours. So, mm, the 29th, which was Tuesday, I did my bike for 30 minutes. I kind of switch on and off with upper body and lower body so I don't get too tired in one place or um, my muscles don't get too achy in one place. And I did that on level one, two, and three. And then Wednesday, I had a chiropractor appointment and I had been having, like, when I feel fatigued and I haven't been resting, if I haven't been resting very much, I always get the pain in my neck, like, right below my skull, like, right here. And that, like, basically tells me that I haven't been resting much, but I had a lot of pain back there um, lately, and it just went away recently, like, three days ago, so. Uh, and... So then Thursday, I had basketball practice, and that was about an hour and a half, hour 15, something like that. And after that, I had, like, before that, I had subtle neck pain. And then after that, I had a lot of neck pain in the same place. And then the next day, on Friday, I had a lot of neck pain, and I felt crappy most of the day. And I just decided to have that as a rest day and rest most of the day. And then I decided that I should probably exercise a little bit, so I did some bike, which isn't, um, which doesn't work my upper body. So I just did my bike for 15 minutes on level one and two. And then 
The next day I felt better, the resting helped a lot, um, and I rode rowing um, for 15 minutes in level 1 and 2, so that wasn't that hard as I usually do it. So, And then on Sunday, I did my bike for 40 minutes. That's probably the highest I've done it ever. Um, and I basically did 10 minutes for each level. So 10 minutes on level 1, 10 minutes on level 2, 10 minutes on level 3, and 10 minutes on level 4. And I feel like that's very simple for me and very easy. Like, once you break that barrier after, like, five minutes of it, then I feel like you can go on for longer and longer. So, yeah, and today, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'll probably do either the bike or um, the rowing machine, probably the rowing machine. Or I might go shoot a little bit. I can tell that my mind of dreams wearing off because I can't think very well right now. Sorry if I'm saying um a lot because I am I was due, like, half an hour ago, I have to go get it. So my question for this video is, what is the song currently that inspires you? And I have a couple of songs that I've heard and I've felt really inspired and like it makes me want to exercise or it makes me want to be the best that I can be or inspires me to keep on going and persevere. So songs that have inspired me um, currently are If I Lose Myself by One Republic. It's a single they just released from their new album, Native. And another One Republic song is called March On. This one really got me. I don't know. It, it just, like, the song just makes you feel like you could just do anything and like move through anything and still be okay so I love that song and On Top of the World by Imagine Dragons another that I love and this one I found yesterday or the day before but it really inspired me to you know be the best that I can be and work as hard as I can to get to where I want to be and I have a lot of goals that I want to be able to achieve and it just listening to it makes me uh, feel like those goals might just be possible so those are the songs that inspire me I'm gonna go now and I'll see you guys next week bye there's so many walls.